This holiday video features drivers that are a bit naff. She's texting. <laughs> she's actually holding her lane pretty well. No, she's FaceTiming. Riding two up with my cousin Heather in a turn. Check it out. Oh, wow. I know it doesn't look that close because of the fisheye lens, but that was pretty scary. Here's the spatial distance that works. Here's what we were dealing with. And as it came toward me, I pressed to the right and then used my left hand magnetic repelling powers. Welcome to my world. Many of those. I've had a few places I look for them, corners, intersections. But I've learned about a motorcycle more than anything. It just ain't over till it's over. And to always look for avenues of escape. Probably what I've learned more than anything is to not personalize it when things like that happen. That guy's in his element. What? You'll never guess where I am right now. I just left Dallas. I'm going down the highway. Um, excuse me, where am I? <laughs> Italy, Texas. Where? Italy, Texas. <laughs> I'm in Italy. Forget about it. Somehow I ended up in Italy. What is that over there, though? What is it? The Starship. <laughs> oh, it is my mother ship. Thank y'all, thank you for being here in Italy. <laughs> All right, bye y'all. So apparently in Italy, there's a mothership. I don't think it's open today, but here it is. Uh, it's apparently for sale or lease. You'll subdivide. How can you subdivide the mothership? So the mothership has fallen on hard times. And, um, okay. Apparently someone got vaporized here. What was once a vibrant, prospering mothership. Ooh, more people got vaporized. Sir, are you okay? Sir, you've been vaporized. I need you to remain calm. Scotty, please send down a crew of unknown actors that we can kill for this episode. Do boldly lease, sell, or divide where no man has ever leased, sold, or divided before. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> this guy's got a stogie. I got a stogie. Oh, it's a good stogie. It's the holidays. Everything that's in here, everything that's in here, kinda has to be dealt with. And sometimes when families get together or don't get together, whatever the deal is, we work out our conflicts sometimes. I've always said, you either go to therapy or you just yell during Thanksgiving. Yes, would you please pass the mashed potatoes and thanks for ruining my childhood! <laughs> yes, gravy, gravy, I'd like some gravy too. <laughs> this ham is so good, y'all. I'm cracking myself up right now because Cigar Guy just drove out and he had his stogie and I'm yelling into my camera and he went like this. He, he was backing up and he went. Alright, I'm going into Sport Clips. I just can't go in for a free neck trap. For a couple of reasons. One, like when does the back hair stop and when does the neck hair begin? I don't know what the... Now a lot, a lot of people would see this sign and go, hey, no wait. I see this sign and I go, no, wait. Are they open? You, you guys know me, I'm not even a sports guy, but when I, when I see this place, I get happy. Look at, I mean, come on, something great's about to happen. Ooh, look at these green guys. Who are they? Oh, dude, you got me, you got taken out by a, a human highlighter. Ma'am, I'm here for my free hairy neck trim. You <laughs> I don't, I'm not gonna get a neck trim, I'm just gonna get a disarray. Oh, cool. Look at that. Would you look at it? Would you just look at it? It's actually a great safety idea. You know how many times I've been poked by these plants growing up around here? Some people get depressed during the holidays. Gee, can't figure out why. Maybe it's the music. I'll be home for Christmas. I'll have a blue Christmas without you come on silent night depressing 
There's another one that's not depressing. It's just creepy. What is that? Da 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 da. Creep creepy creep creep creepy creep creepy 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 creep creep creepy creep creep creepy creep creepy creep creepy 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 creepy. It's the world's most efficient paper airplane. A lot of people say it's just a ball, but if you think about it, it flies better than most airplanes, and it's practically indestructible. Drop it in from high. Boom! Oh, good job. Imagine for a second that you're a kid and you're sort of stuck with your parents and your restaurant just opened and then you make friends with this crazy manager. His parents said that I made their day, but what they don't realize is they made my day. It's so vital to take time to connect and play. Lately, I have the best luck with finding phones. Check it out. A little dusty, a little dusty, no power, okay. Yes, sir. Uh, you told me that the Cheyenne lost Casey's phone. Is it blue in color? Let me see here. I don't remember. Wait a minute. It is kind of blue in color. She dropped it or lost it somewhere else. She don't know where the hell she lost that. Ah, uh -huh. yeah, it was over by the it was by the mailbox between 220 and 236. So I figured it might be one of y'all. Yeah, yeah, but uh, you know, some of these people are running a little slow. You know, got to catch up with what's going on. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see y'all in 30 seconds. All right, brother. See you in a bit. Yes, sir. But listen, I know it's not just the sad depressing music that can make the holidays difficult. I know a lot of you have had loss. I've had loss. You know, th this time of year, yeah, I miss my mom. I miss my brother. I miss my grandparents. I miss my buddy Nick. All of those feelings are, are real, but I'm not going to live my life in the past. And if I truly want to honor them, I'm going to live my life forward. And that's how I get through the holidays. Most of you know that's why I volunteer. That's why I do the things that I do. Not because I want to be a terrific guy, but because I need it. If one year from now, or one week, or one day, or one hour from now, you meet someone that becomes an integral, amazing part of your life, they already existed. I don't know how time works. That's stuff for Einstein to figure out. One of my favorite movies in the world, the Muppet movie, the original. The original Muppet movie. In the middle of the movie, there was this great desert scene, and Kermit was really starting to have a lot of self-doubt. He was wondering, Am I crazy? I brought all these people on this journey and I don't really even know what I'm doing. Have I made a mistake? And Gonzo sings a song, lyrics I think by Paul Williams, one of the most amazing lines I've ever heard in any song. There's not a word yet for old friends who've just met. I love that. Oh, speaking of friends, I want to thank everyone who mails. <laughs> God, that's amazing! I get packages, letters from all over the world. I promise I'm going to make a dedicated video about that. And But I just have to go to this. Remember the monkey? Oh, and I said the first person to write me and tell me why they like monkeys, I will send them the cute little monkey. This is a handmade card. Uncle Mullet, we really enjoy your show. <laughs> that makes me happy. I have a show. It is. It is like a show. You have such a positive attitude. Your kindness is making the world a better place. My son, Avery, would like to have one of your monkeys. Avery, your monkey ship has come in! <laughs> I've enclosed an ornament that I made for your tree. How cool is this? Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And this is from Shannon in Pflugerville. Pflugerville is a really cute little town, not too, not too far from here. P.S. If you're ever in Pflugerville, we would like to take you to dinner. Oh, yeah, Miss Shannon. Avery, your monkey is on the way, and I actually have a surprise for y'all. As the cards keep coming in, everybody's going to get a monkey. Well, not everyone. I've secured 10 monkeys, so this, this is really exciting. I just realized I kind of look... I didn't realize I had my darker sunglasses on. Generally, when I talk to y'all, I like you to see my eyes. I want you to know where I'm coming from. From a dirt road in Page, Texas. That's where I'm coming from. Oh, look, it's a Swafford sighting. 
<laughs> so, I was just thanking viewers and telling them their monkeys are on the way. I'm going to go pick up my monkey. Well done. Well done, sir. Well done, sir. Very well. I can understand you're going to pick up a small human. No, it's a monkey. Why, I say, <laughs> right, right. Why have a child when you can have a monkey? Right, right, right. Have you seen my mustache wax? Mustache? I, I cannot find my mustache wax anywhere. I believe I left it in my smoking jacket in the library. I must ask you a question. And he's off. I don't want to just thank you all for watching my video, sharing the videos. That's important, but thank you for letting me in. I don't want to ruin the surprise, but I'm working on something right now that will allow us to see how we're all connected. The thread. It'll also be a place for us to meet. And, oh, I want to tell you, but it's just not... There's a lot more things that have to be done right now. And a lot of people have come forward out of the blue. I they believe they come from out of the blue. And they seem to almost parachute into our lives. And then they're in our hearts. You know, I used to wonder what my neighbors think about me as they go by our road here and I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> I've been telling y'all for years, the bar ain't right in the head. So until we connect again, be good to one another and live to ride another day. Thank you. Yes, would you please pass the mashed potatoes and thanks for ruining my childhood! <laughs> yes, gravy. Gravy. I'd like some gravy too. <laughs> this ham is so good, y'all.